Welcome back to another video. This will be Katia V5 Shape Sculptor and we're gonna check push and pull. So to get started with that, initially I will load the model. I will make use of the stand for the um, dragon over here. So have that imported. Now, if I'm gonna check the documentation for this feature, we're gonna see that we have the possibility to use curves to define the sculpted area. So we can either push or pull the material within that direction. If you don't use curves, we can also use points that we can select directly on the mesh. And this will have the same offset and influence control like the previous tools that we discussed. We can also refine the mesh if the triangulation is too coarse over there um, within the specified region. So to showcase the functionality of this, I will zoom in over here on the dragon um, mouth. And I will make use of the paint tool in order to paint a curve over here. So for example, maybe we would like to model um, another uh, tooth over here. So we have the shape over there. With that selected, I can go and enable push and pull. Now I will disable the influence um, area over here. So the radius for this. Afterwards, hold down control and select the inner mesh. And we're going to see how geometry will be added over there. Now, depending on the profile, this can be either smooth. As you can see, in this case, a smooth profile will look like this. We can make this sharp. So we see that the sharp one will have a, a vertex more visible at the top, where the smooth one will also have um, a radius over there. And we also have the circular, which will be looking like this. We can also show the influence point over here. So we can move this in real time. Then I'm using the mouse. I'm going to move that uh, point up and down. And we can also refine the shape. So if I will click over here on refine, we're going to see how additional geometry will be added um, over there. To better visualize what's happening, we can always swap to to the other visualization wireframe mode and uh, we're gonna see how additional geometry will be added but only over here so we see that the rest of the mesh will uh, remain the same while over here the geometry will uh, be heavily increased we can also <clears throat> use this uh, function a little bit differently so if i will go to paint curve and for example for the of the dragon i will draw a curve over here so, um, i will redraw that since i double click as i said between my previous videos my mouse usually double clicks sometimes so i have a re reshaped that now i will activate the push and pull and we're gonna see that by default we have the radius enable again I will select the curve and afterwards if I will uh, hold down control and select the um, inner surface we're going to see that everything has been offset so we have a radius over here which currently has the size of 40 millimeters if I will increase the offset value for example to 5 we're going to see how the model will be stretched so somewhere over here on the neck of the dragon we're going to see that those scales will be will be deformed. So for example, an offset of 10 will increase this even more. And now we see that um, all that area has been um, heavily, let's say, deformed. If, for example, I will go with uh, a value of 55, we're going to see how that will look. So we see the mesh will be deformed like this and the head of the dragon will be will become a lot uh, more uh, rounded. So keep that in mind that um, if you don't disable that radius, so in this case, I see that I can no longer deselect radius since I didn't disable it um, when I started to work on this. So it's always good to, to know how you can change that. You can also change the size of the radius. For example, if I will go with something like five, we're just going to have um, that area. So where we have that curve, we're going to have that the geometry. And uh, if I will increase the offset value, for example, to 50, not uh, 1,000, 15, 
we're going to see how that will only be influenced over there. Okay, so this is how we can work with uh, push and pull. We can also make use directly of points. So for example, if I will just go push and pull and select um, a point, for example, over here on, uh, on the head of the dragon, we're going to see that we receive a point over there. And now we have the possibility to use uh, the offset value in order to move everything around that point. So it's not necessary to have um, a curve to define that area. Katia will also work with uh, with a point. So over there, I added the influence area to be 55. And I also press a tab in order to do an update. And since the um, update is set to real time, we see that currently we have uh, not responding. So let's take a look. Usually, Katia should go uh, back to the default state over here. But as we can see with the point, it takes a little bit longer to calculate than with a curve. So with a curve, it's a little bit um, easier to compute those. So not sure if um, Katia will uh, get back from this. So. I will wait several uh, more minutes. One of the problem is that the dragon is quite uh, heavily detailed. As we can see, it has a lot of um, details on the on the scales and so on. Therefore, this is not the best uh, exercise to to showcase this. So I will just leave this to work in the background. And I will start another Katia session over here. And within the newly added session, we're going to take a look at um, part from the documentation. So this is that part. And we see we can use um, the push and pull function over here. For example, if I will select that mesh so initially the curve afterwards the mesh but again i have to disable the radius before i will do that and we're going to see that in this case the first uh, output will be that one of the triangles will be will be deleted so that is not exactly working as intended and afterwards if i will add the offset value we're still going to have a gap within that mesh now this sometimes um, can happen so it's buggy if i will click cancel that will no longer be that hole will no longer be present so i will go again push and pull disable the radius select the mesh and now we see that we don't have that um, that problem anymore so we don't have that hole and if i will go with the offset value this will add geometry on the exterior over here because i click the mesh over here if i would click the selection within the boundary of the curve, we will only elevate um, geometry over there. So, for example, with this selected, go to push and pull, disable the radius, hold down control, click over here on the boundary, and we're going to see how the material will be only added over here within the inner profile. So again, we can go with uh, various shapes over here. We can have that refined. It will work the same over here with a close look, just like we we check with the dragon. Let's take a look if that uh, has got back. So we see that Katia managed to restore, so I'll just cancel that. And we saw how that was elongated. So keep that in mind always when Katia is um, entering a not responding phase. You just have to have a little bit of patience. It will uh, restore. And we can also use the push and pull. Um, since this surface has fewer geometry than the dragon, this should work a lot better. So I can just select the point over here. And afterwards, I can um, have that increase. And we're going to see how that will work. So again, various profiles. We can add refinement to that. And later on, we can go and smooth that area over here with, uh, with the brass mode. 
okay so i hope that you enjoyed this uh, video we still have few few other elements to discuss so the following video will be regarding surface sculpting so i will position a similar video on the left side i will add this to the katia v5 tips and tricks videos currently there are over 137 videos over there and i will also add a subscribe button to the right so that's it thanks for watching